um, yeah, if you come from a sick family or have been hurt emotionally in any way, you you need to feel bad for yourself. I know it sounds cheesy, but you need to feel bad for yourself. Not forever. You know, and you also you need to acknowledge that you're a victim of a sick family or a victim of emotional abuse. And just so you can bring the scars or whatever you want to call it, just so you can bring those old emotions to the surface. I'm not saying to play the victim forever. You know. Uh, you know, put some positive programming in your head. Just write, write down some positive, positive uh, things on, or or record a video. Just just say I, I am, I am a good person. I am loving. I have nothing to be ashamed about. I will, I will heal, you know, just all that, just write it down and then play the audio and then listen to it while you're meditating. You know, I, I suggest you make your own positive affirmations because you can't trust people, you know, some people might, you know, try to put some bullshit programming in your head, so make your own positive affirmation videos. Listen to it while you're meditating or whenever, but while you're meditating would be even better. Listen to it before sleep. And another tip is pay attention to the things that you daydream about. Because I believe that the things we daydream about have a meaning. Don't look at don't look at the actual thing that you're daydreaming daydreaming about. Look at the meaning behind it. What is the meaning behind it? Yeah. Uh.